this morning, we're going to talk about upper trapezius stretches. So upper traps are, um, they come from the base of your neck. They run all the way down. Your shoulders, your trapezius run down through your back. Um, and they are the muscles that bring us up here. They are the muscles that give us the wrapping headaches. Um, they're a really great muscle group. There's a lot. They do do a lot for us. The posture, posture. Um, the thing that we don't want them to do is we don't want them to be lifting our shoulders all of the time. Um, when we get tight in the upper traps, we lift our shoulders up. We end up um, moving our shoulders in an unnatural way when they're hiked up like that. We get stress here. Um, a lot of times that forward head posture, when we sort of get that like Mr. Burns look to us, um, if we are having shoulder pain, we will substitute a lot of motion with that upper trap. So always a good idea to stretch them out. Um, I'm gonna show you three stretches today. It totally is gonna depend on where you feel the stretch, how you're responding to the stretch, and how much of a stretch you need. Um, so the first stretch is just gonna be, you're gonna just stretch your neck out. I want you to feel it right through here. Your arm is at your side. And if you feel like you need a little, a little extra, you can give a little over pressure right there. You should feel a nice stretch right down through your neck. Um, there we go, hold that for 30 seconds. And do that three times. All right, so the next stretch that we're gonna do, sorry, I'm just like muck about with my computer. Um, the next stretch that we're gonna do, same thing, upper trap stretch, you're gonna grab underneath your chair. So I'm not grabbing under my bum, I'm grabbing under my chair, under my chair. Same stretch, but by pulling down, I get a little bit more along the top of my shoulder. And again, if you need it, you can add the over pressure right here. 30 seconds. And then repeat that three times. Um, same thing on the other side. If you feel like you're tight in both sides, it's okay to stretch just one side. If you feel like just one side is tight, you do not need to stretch the other side. Um, sometimes we get tight on one side and not tight on the other side. Uh, that's okay. You don't you don't need to feel like you have to do everything. Um, the last stretch I'm going to show you again. Same thing. Upper trap stretch. This is for people who tend to have more hypermobility in their joints. Um, so sometimes our muscles don't get the stretch that we're looking for because we're stretching the joint space itself with people who have um, more flexibility in their joints than they do in their muscles. Um, if you have like a hypermobility deficit um, condition or um, diagnosed, undiagnosed, some people are just really flexible in their joints. Um, but they still need to stretch the muscles. And so for that, you get a weight, and then you're gonna let that weight pull down. You're gonna do, excuse me, you're gonna do that same stretch. You can give the over pressure if you want, but then you're gonna close the space and open the space, and close the space and open the space. So we're giving information to the muscle that they can elongate and they can shorten. This way we're not doing a static stretch where we're just like pulling on the joint space. Um, if that feels like it's too much for you, you can just do it with movement. You don't have to do the overpressure. Um, none of these should hurt. And if you feel like um, the moving the neck is too painful, you can just shrug the shoulder. And again, that slow controlled eccentric stretch on the way down really elongates that upper trap but because you're giving feedback with your weight, and you can you can use a real weight. Um, if you, oh, yay, Christy, I love that. Um, get this one into your day, absolutely. Um, but if you, you can, use a, you can use a real weight if you need to. <laughs> I just like to use the stuff I have around the house because that's who we are. Um, because if you're doing laundry and you just, you walk in the washing room, washing room and there's like three minutes left on you wash, but you don't want to go do something else because you know you're going to forget it, and you have your laundry detergent right there, you can do some upper trap stretches. Um, yeah, so again, both sides, stretch where you need it. From that forward head posture, those, those raised shoulders, we get a lot of restriction in there. And so working on our posture is great as always, but part of keeping those shoulders back and down is stretching out your upper traps. 
um, and that's a really good way to stretch them. So if it hurts, don't do it. Send me a message. We will um, tweak it. Not all of us are put together the same, so some of us might have a little more pain, a little less pain doing these things. Um, if you feel it pulling on your shoulder, if you feel it pulling deep in your neck, you're stretching the joint space, and um, that's not a thing that we need to stretch. Our joints should be tight and taut um, and move the way that they need to. Our muscles should be the things that move the joints, um, and we don't need to hyper stretch any joints um, in the process. So, oh, Christy, upper traps, messing up your whole back. Let's work on posture, girl. Stretch those pecs, stretch those upper traps, and squeeze your butt as much as you can. And all of those things will feed back loop your good posture. Um, here, I'm going to sneak in so I can see you. Um, it'll feed back loop your good posture. So if you're focused.